Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Imagine commanding one of the most revolutionary surface combatants ever built. A massive stealth guided missile destroyer that glides through the ocean with a radar signature smaller than a fishing boat, unleashing devastating long range precision strikes from hypersonic speeds while remaining nearly invisible to enemy sensors. This futuristic platform combines cutting edge wave piercing design, immense electrical power generation, and now next generation hypersonic weaponry to redefine naval strike warfare, providing the United States Navy with unmatched standoff offensive capabilities against peer adversaries in contested environments where speed, stealth and precision can turn the tide before the battle even begins. That is precisely why today we are diving deep into the United States Navy USS Zumwalt DDG-1000, the lead ship of the revolutionary Zumwalt-class guided missile destroyers that has evolved from a controversial experimental vessel into a hypersonic strike powerhouse. The USS Zumwalt DDG-1000, where DDG stands for Guided Missile Destroyer and 1000 is the unique hull number, breaking from the traditional Arleigh Burke class sequence, traces its origins to the early 2000s under the DD-21 program, later restructured as DDX, aimed at creating a next-generation multi-mission destroyer focused on naval gunfire support for amphibious operations while incorporating advanced stealth, automation and integrated power systems. Named after Admiral Elmo Russell Budd Zumwalt Jr., the youngest chief of naval operations who modernized Navy policies during the Vietnam War era, the ship was intended as the lead of a planned class of up to 32 vessels. Construction began with a contract awarded to Bath Ironworks, now part of General Dynamics, in February 2008, with the keel laid on November 17, 2011, launch on October 28, 2013, christening in April 2014, and commissioning on October 15, 2016 in Baltimore. Early challenges included propulsion issues during its transit through the Panama Canal in November 2016 due to seawater intrusion in bearings, requiring repairs before reaching its initial home port in San Diego. The original mission emphasized land attack via two massive 155mm advanced gun systems, AGS, firing the precision-guided long-range land attack projectile, LRLAP. But the program's high costs exceeding original estimates dramatically and the cancellation of LRLAP in 2016 due to per round expenses around $800,000 led to a drastic reduction from 32 ships to just three, shifting focus to surface warfare and eventual repurposing. Delving into the specifications that make the USS Zumwalt such a formidable and unique stealth destroyer, it displaces approximately 14,564 long tons, or about 14,798 metric tons, measures 600 feet, or 182.9 meters, in length, with a beam of 80.7 feet, or 24.6 meters, and a draft of 27.6 feet, or 8.4 meters. Powered by an integrated power system, IPS, featuring two Rolls-Royce MT-30 gas turbines, each producing 35.4 megawatts, and two Rolls-Royce RR 4500 turbine generators, it delivers a total output of 78 megawatts, or about 105,000 shaft horsepower, through two advanced induction motors, enabling a top speed of 33.5 knots, approximately 62 kilometers per hour or 38.6 miles per hour. The wave-piercing tumble-home hull and inward sloping sides dramatically reduce radar cross-section to that of a small fishing vessel despite its size, while the design provides excellent stability in rough seas, as demonstrated during Sea State's six trials off Alaska in 2019. The ship operates with a reduced crew of around 142 personnel thanks to high automation, carries two SH-60 lamps or one MH-60R helicopter plus three MQ-8 Fire Scout UAVs, and features advanced sensors including the AN slash SPY-3 multifunction radar, X-band, and volume search radar, S-band. The armament suite has undergone a dramatic transformation. Originally featuring two 155mm AGS with massive magazines, these were rendered unusable after LRLAP cancellation. The forward AGS was removed during a major refit starting in August 2023 at Huntington Ingalls Industries in Pascagoula, Mississippi, and replaced with four multiple all-up round canisters, MAX, housing 12 conventional prompt strike, CPS, 
Hypersonic missiles using the common hypersonic glide body, CHGB, capable of speeds exceeding Mach 5 for global range, maneuverable, non-nuclear precision strikes. The Afghan mount remains for potential future weapons. Additional armament includes 80 cells in 20 MiG-57 vertical launch system modules for missiles like Tomahawk, Standard, Evolved Sea Sparrow, and VL ASROC, plus two MK-46 30mm guns. The 87-inch diameter CPS tubes mirror those planned for Virginia-class submarines, providing risk reduction for broader fleet integration. In a typical mission, the USS Zumwalt operates independently or within carrier strike groups, leveraging its stealth to approach contested areas undetected, then unleashing hypersonic CPS strikes against high-value targets like enemy ships, air defenses, or command centers from standoff ranges. While its powerful IPS supports future directed energy weapons and its advanced sonar arrays counter submarine threats. Capabilities position the USS Zumwalt as a true game-changer in naval warfare, excelling in offensive surface strike with hypersonic precision, distributed lethality, anti-air and anti-submarine defense, and potential for future upgrades like directed energy or electronic warfare. Its stealth, power margin and modularity make it ideal for high-threat environments, evolving from a land attack concept to a premier hypersonic platform. As of January 2026, the US Zumwalt DDG-1000 has completed its major three-year modernization refit, with construction and CPS hypersonic weapon system installation finalized in late 2025. Advanced payload modules marked complete in November 2025. The ship was successfully undocked and returned to the water in December 2024 at Huntington Ingalls Industries, and it is now set for reactivation and sea trials in 2026 without its original main gun systems, focusing instead on the 12 CPS hypersonic missiles. Testing of the new hypersonic capability is expected to begin soon with full operational employment targeted for later in the year or into 2027. The program manager, Captain Clint Lawler, detailed progress at the Surface Navy Association Symposium in early 2026, confirming the transformation timeline to May 2026 for completion of key upgrades. The class, including sisters USS Michael Monsoor DDG-1001 and USS Lyndon B. Johnson DDG-1002, is being prepared for basing in Hawaii by mid-2028, with ongoing work on the third ship already underway. This refit marks a major milestone in repositioning the Zumwalt class as the Navy's first operational hypersonic surface platform amid global peer competition. The United States Navy USS Zumwalt DDG-1000 stands as a visionary triumph of naval engineering, masterfully blending extreme stealth, immense power and now hypersonic strike dominance to redefine power projection on the high seas. What are your thoughts on the USS Zumwalt? Thrilled by its hypersonic CPS upgrade and transformation from costly experiment to cutting-edge asset, impressed by its stealth profile and future potential, or curious about how it compares to Arleigh Burke-class destroyers or foreign hypersonic platforms? Share your insights in the comments below. Give this video a like if it stealthily impressed you. Share it with your naval warfare crew, and if you haven't already, Hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into the ships shaping tomorrow's oceans. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.